Chapter 8 Eating and Sleep Disorders This is my summary of Abnormal Psychology 7th Edition by Barlow and Durand and this will be part 1 since I'll just be talking about eating disorders in this video. To begin with, bulimia nervosa is when individuals are out of control and they binge eat, followed by self-induced vomiting and the use of laxatives or other ways to purge food. Anorexia nervosa is the nervous loss of appetite when individuals eat nothing beyond minimal amounts of food and this causes weight loss. Binge eating disorders. Individuals binge on food finding this distressing but they don't attempt to expel the food. Obesity is when individuals are measured of a certain BMI that is greater than 29. Obesity, however, is not an official disorder in the DSM, in the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual. Causes of eating disorders. Various causes can include social dimensions, such as the glorification of slenderness in the media, according to Levine and Smolik, family influences and cultural expectations in beauty standards, dietary restraints, for example, uh, World War II, famine, etc. As in, it could be from historical uh, events in time. Biological dimensions are genetic components whereby relatives of patients have four to five times more likely than general population to have an eating disorder themselves. Low serotonergic activity in the hypothalamus is associated with impulsivity, binge, and eating disorders. So it could be like um, irregular activity in the hypothalamus. Um, there's also psychological dimensions, which includes perfectionism, distorted perception of body image and appearance to others. According to Lillian Field et al. 2006 and Fairburn et al. 2003. Ways to treat eating disorders includes uh, drug treatment, whereby the use of antidepressants is effective in treating bulimia. Effectiveness is measured by reduction in frequency of binging. Uh, tricyclic antidepressants are not effective long term, however. Also, there are psychological treatments through CBTE. According to Feb in 2008, which teaches physical consequences of binge eating and purging and ineffectiveness of vomiting slash laxative uh, abuse. Focus is, however, on altering dysfunctional thoughts. Prevention. This is to educate people about disorders and body image. Night eating syndrome. This is when individuals consume a third more of their daily intake after evening meals. I should phrase it as 130% more. This is getting out of bed at night and eating high snack calories or high calorie snacks. Nocturnal eating syndrome. Individuals get up at night to raid the refrigerator, but they don't necessarily wake up, so they do it unconsciously. Other ways to treat eating disorders, as in excessive eating disorders, includes bariatric surgery, which is when the stomach is stapled to create small stomach pouches at the base of the esophagus and thus severely limiting food intake. Patients must have one or more obesity-related physical conditions, however. And finally, there are gastric bypass operations, which creates bypasses of the stomach, limiting food intake, but also absorption of calories. So ultimately, we looked at eating disorders in this video, which includes binge eating, uh, bulimia nervosa, and anorexia nervosa. We also looked at things like uh, the possible causes of these eating disorders and possible treatments. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.